Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 6 February 2023, the Indian Navy pilots carried out the landing of LCA Navy on newly commissioned aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. Back in 2018, Indian Navy has expressed its desire to see naval LCA operating from INS Vikrant's deck but later decided to opt for a foreign made jet in the short term while focusing on developing TED-BF for the future. In April 2023, the Leafis Defence has reported that Indian Navy is exploring the idea of ordering a small number of naval LCA fighter jets to operate as a dedicated training and technology development squadron for frontal naval aviators and future combat assets. The idea is in discussion stage and the report suggests that Navy could be looking to induct 12 to 15 naval LCA. Again, in September 2024, DRDO chief has also said that DRDO is pushing the case with Indian Navy again to place the order for 8 to 10 naval LCA platforms in the current role for training. The Indian Navy wants TED BF project to take off in full flow before taking the final call on naval LCA. However, the importance of naval LCA has further increased with Rafal M being the interim choice of Indian Navy's deck-based fighter jet requirement. This is because Rafal M does not have a trainer version which can land and take off from the deck of an aircraft carrier. Landing a fighter jet on a deck of an aircraft carrier is far more challenging than landing it on an airstrip. The Navy pilots, after completing their training on beginner, intermediate and advanced trainer jet, can be trained on naval LCA to land and take off from the deck of an aircraft carrier. Even the Hawk trainers of Indian Navy cannot operate from the deck of aircraft carrier. Therefore, the naval LCA can train the budding naval fighter pilots in stobar operation, something they currently do abroad. The naval LCA offers hands-free ski jump takeoff and landing modes and is a carrier compatible for combat missions with air-to-air -air weapons. The two prototypes of the naval LCA Mark I, which are called NP-1 and NP-2, are already operational with Indian Navy. The naval LCA will bridge the gap between test teams and the frontline flyers. It will push the naval LCA into rigorous naval aviation which will further help in improving the platform. On 18th August 2023, the third LCA naval trainer prototype, which is called NP-5, has successfully completed the maiden flight at HL Airport. The aircraft was airborne for 57 minutes with all parameters normal. The LCA Navy NP-5 incorporates all improvements identified during the exploitation of NP-1 and NP-2. With LCNP-5 joining the naval platforms, it will be helpful to accelerate the flight testing activities, which will again provide designers vital inputs towards designing and developing TED-BF. The Navy's renewed interest brings up the possibilities of acquiring a squadron of naval LCA. At present, Indian Navy has two aircraft carrier and more than 40 MiG-29K aircrafts. Each aircraft carrier can approximately carry 20-25 aircrafts, which means Navy's shore-based squadron could be moved to Vikrant. This provides again an excellent opportunity for naval Tejas, as it can quite easily supplement the fighter jet requirement for shore-based squadron. While the naval Tejas cannot operate with maximum payload operating from aircraft deck, it can easily carry its max payload when operated from shore. While operating from aircraft carrier as well, Naval Tejas can carry two double missile and two R-73 missiles and it fits into the lift as well. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.